Whether you spend time outdoors or not, this is your new favorite watch. Let's have a look. Dave Taylor here and I'm looking at another watch. This is a Casio ProTrack and I just want to start with the unboxing because the box is really cool. Comes in this like fiberboard box and it took me a while to figure out how to open it. At first I thought, ah, Chinese puzzle box. Good move, Casio, but it's not quite that complicated. But once you figure out how to do it, you pop the top off and et voila, you have the Casio ProTrack PRG 600 YB2. That is a mouthful. We'll just call it the ProTrack and you can reference that as you need. Now, first thing I really like about it, it has this nice nylon strap and a really simple but straightforward buckle that makes it really easy for me to put it on my wrist. So there it is, all done, ready to roll. Now, it is 100 meter water resistant, it is solar powered, it does have neo bright luminous hands, it's actually really easy to read in the dark, but it's even easier than that. They have a special button on the edge of the buckle that if you push illuminates the screen for either one or three seconds, you can change the setting. Not so easy to change the settings because there's no app or anything, but you can change some of these settings. But where this gets really fun is it has a whole ton of outdoor modes. So it has 10 different modes, which is a little scary, and supports 29 time zones. Now, if you're thinking about this, you should be saying, hmm, how can there be more than 24 time zones? Well, turns out there are non-hourly time zone differences like in the far Pacific and stuff where they're 20 minutes off, crazy stuff, but supports 29 time zones. So let's get back to those 10 different modes. Now it has stopwatch, timer, alarm, world time, timekeeping, data recall, it can store data so you can have like multiple laps, things like that. But where it really gets fun is it actually has the ability to tell you your altitude, the temperature, it has a digital compass, and it even has barometric pressure and shows you barometric pressure trends all on this watch. How cool is that? So I thought, instead of just talking about it, let me show you some demos. So we're going to go through and I'll show you how I calculate altitude, temperature, use the digital compass, and then we look at barometric pressure. But before we get there, I just wanted to mention that barometric pressure is an interesting one. I had to do some homework. It's basically force per area and it measured in either hectopascals or inches of mercury. Those are the two common ones. And either of those you can use as the unit on your watch. And the data actually is pretty straightforward to interpret. If it's going up, you're getting better weather. If it's going down, you're getting worse weather. So the little teeny tiny bar graph actually shows you here is what's happening with the trends in your weather. Pretty cool. So let's jump into those close-ups. All right, let's start with altitude, which is easily done. So look on the bottom. So you can see I am at 5,095 feet altitude. Next, let's look at temperature. And for temperature, we use the mode button. So you're gonna push it and it will show you different modes. And we wanna to get to temperature. There you go, 77.8 degrees Fahrenheit. Next up, digital compass. And digital compass is kind of fun because you push a different button and you know you did the right thing because the second hand will go to, oops, Actually, I need to get it into a different mode. We need to get it into regular time mode. So there we go. Now we're in time mode. Now I push it and it goes to 12 and now that's pointing to north. And if I move the watch, you'll see it will actually recalibrate. That I think is pretty cool. Now, the only thing left is barometric pressure. So let's do that one. And that is also accessible from the lower left. That we just go there and there you go and on the left side you can see the little tiny graph unfortunately the minute hand is now in the way but that's our barometric pressure 24.8 to be fair i don't know how often i'll be checking the altitude on my watch but i don't care i think it's a really beautiful watch i really like the design i mean Every time Casio sends me a watch, I'm like, wow, this is my new favorite watch. But this, seriously, this ProTrek is my new favorite watch. 
<laughs> the last pro track I got from them was so complicated I couldn't figure out how to do most things. This one they've clearly redesigned and they've just said let's just give you more buttons to make this easier to work with and it does make it easier and it does make it super fun. So really cool if you're out on a walk, if you're on an airplane, if you're in another city, whatever it is, this gives you so much capability for you to be able to keep track of your surroundings. And of course, if you're in the great outdoors, well, obviously it's really fun to know like what, you know, what direction is north and what's the temperature right now. Super cool. So only thing left to talk about is the price. But before we get to the price, can I ask that you subscribe to my channel? There's a little button floating down there on the bottom. Just click on it. Then you can see all my other reviews. Super well. Great and super appreciated. Now, this Casio ProTrek PRG 600YB2 is $320 at Casio.com and given all of its functionality and given its very nice styling, I think that's actually kind of a steal. It's a really good price for a watch that can do everything this does. So I tell you, if you're into watches like I am, you definitely want to check this one out. And with that, I will catch you in my next video.